Hey guys, it's Mr. Rinaldi again. I'm going to show you how to do a couple things in Audacity that are really going to improve the quality of your mixes. These are a few really simple things you can do that I know some of you have been struggling with, and some of you have already kind of jumped ahead and started exploring some of these other effects. So let's listen to this piece of terrible audio that I just recorded. And we could tell that just by looking at the waveform. It doesn't make any use of the, uh, the vertical amplitude. It's, uh, it's a little fuzzy looking. It's really just not going to be good quality, and there's probably going to be lots of background noise and humming and other appliances running. But let's check it out. You can hear for yourself. Wow, that is bad. All right, let's try and do whatever we can to fix that. So the first thing I think I can do is get rid of some of that noise. But to really be able to hear that noise, I want to normalize this first. I want to make use of all this headroom I have above here and down here. So I have my track selected, and you can tell because it's darker gray. I'm going to go to Effect, Normalize. That's going to make this sound wave explode. It's going to get way bigger. Look at that. But here's there's a catch to this. There's probably going to be even more noise now. So I hear it. I hope you guys hear that too. And you can hear it really well at the beginning. It doesn't sound like silence. So we want to make a noise profile of that to get that out of our mix. So the first thing I'm going to do now is select that, that just that piece of silence. And to make sure that I have only that selected, I'm going to hit Shift and Spacebar to loop play it. Sounds like terrible ambiance to me. All right. So now that I have my noise selected, I'm going to go to Effect and Noise Removal. Now the noise is selected because I want to tell this program, hey, get rid of this noise, not the other noise, just this noise. So we're going to get noise profile, and it's got. Now we're going to select the whole track, effect, and we're going to go back there one more time. Noise removal, OK. And it's going to have cleaned it up a little bit. Listen. Amazing, right? That simple. So that's pretty cool. That's one thing we can do. Now one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to compress this and normalize it again to get a big full sound. Now typically I would recommend to you guys to not do this in your initial audio track. I would say duplicate your track and experiment with that next one. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit control, hold down the control button, then hit D. It just duplicated my track. Look at that. So I'm going to minimize that one, keep my source file in good shape. And I click down here just to make sure I can I only have what I want selected. So I'm going to go to that. Sorry, I didn't mean to go to effects. I meant to go to effects, not generate. We are going to we're going to do a little bit more work on this. We're going to normalize it. So it just expanded the waveform just a little bit. And now we're going to compress it. So some producers uh really make good use of these tools. Well, they'll normalize and then compress. And I'm just going to use the stock setting on here to save video space. But you guys feel free to mess around with these sliders. You can draw, you can click on this weight on this form right here and change the shape. All right, so check out the sound now. And I could do this as many times as I want. So I'm getting a little bit of clipping. Might want to normalize this one more time. But every time we do this, it's going to change the signal a little bit. So you saw it get smaller now. I'm going to dial back the volume a little bit. So 
So obviously not the best in the world, but it definitely was an improvement from what we had initially, it was, which was just this bad, humming, distant, um, indescript waveform, and we gave it a bit more character. Now I encourage you guys to take time and mess with all the settings. Everything's, everything can be manipulated in this software, and everything can be changed. So outdo me. Do, do uh, some production work that, that puts this to shame. And I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it was helpful. And that is all. You guys have a good day, and make sure you use some of this on some of your upcoming projects.